Naruto i... Wait a minute. There's something oddly familiar about this background. Is that an old Demon Slayer pattern? I know that they simply did not make an original background, but could have been so big brain if they decided to put this little foreshadowing and Tanjiro was a guest character. Can't say that there is a possible future where this happens, considering that the box art looks like it was made 10 minutes before the reveal. <laughs> you can already feel the effort they're going to put into this. 10 minutes before the release of the game, the smartest dev downloads the mod for a new Naruto form and imports it into the game. <laughs> Somebody will buy it! I know that we're in an era of remakes and remasters and some of them turn out really good, I don't need to tell you that. But haven't they already done this? Twice? I mean, I'm on Steam and I'm looking at Naruto Storm Legacy and Naruto Storm Trilogy and it's basically the same thing as what they're doing now, no? Plus DLC. At least looking at the trailer, you cannot tell that this is a new game. From my uneducated look, it looks like they're pulling out the same card the third time. This card is useless. They must be laughing their asses off. Oh, look at these guys, they're actually putting in some effort? Scrubs. Watch this. Mani no Jutsu stealing artistry. Losing my mind. I'm the one to talk though, I'm not putting much of an effort in this video either. But let's say, hypothetically, I would I would have wanted to see something crazy out of this game. What would I have wanted to see? I think since around the Storm 3 era, one combo has been taken from all characters. Don't know why. Bring it back for all 107 million characters. I don't care. <laughs> Dude, wall combat. Wall combat was really good. I don't know why they removed it. I think it spices up the stages. Bring it back. Actually, go one step beyond and make stage transitions. That'd be good. And while you're at it, remember power slaps from part one? Yeah, that, that stuff is cool too. Actually, all of that from part one. Uh, the clashes. Yes, for all 100 million characters. Bring it back. I want these uh, compilations to be 8 hour long. One more. Loose poses that you removed when the timer ends. <laughs> yeah, I do realize that none of that is going to happen. I only have one actual wish, which is funny enough equally as unrealistic to expect, but this time not due to the massiveness of the roster, but due to whatever doesn't allow them to do this, and that is good netcode. Give me rollback netcode. That's my only wish. I peeped that name, it says storm connections. Good connection. No storm disconnections. No storm laggy connections. Storm connections. One job, CC2. Please. One job. <laughs> well, Alright, let's take a glimpse at what actually will happen. One interesting detail, trailers and the official Japanese site say that the game will be available only on consoles. But the official Bandai Namco site also says that it will be available for PC. Hmm... I expect a new gameplay mechanic. I don't know what it's going to be, I can't even imagine what it's going to be, but I'm definitely sure that they're going to pull off something out of their bottom. The story is an ouch, because they basically say that it's just the selected scenes from the previous games and straight up tell you that if you have already played the game, the only appeal is updated graphics. So it's like a more hd -er version, I guess? Also, when you see lines like scenes from the anime, that means 90% of the time that it's going to be motion stills, just still pictures of the anime rather than the epic cutscenes like we've seen in Generations. How do I know? Well, it's been over 10 years of falling for the same shit over and over and over and over and by that time you learn something about the ways of being manipulated by the companies. More interestingly, however, Plus, experience a new story exclusive to the game. Now that is interesting, because uh, we might see an original character designed for this particular game. I mean, they've done it before in Storm Revolution, maybe this time they'll do it again, but cooler. 
Kinda strange that there is very little of Borto in the trailer, so I assume that there will be a lot of Borto characters that are new. Or else there is no point in adding Borto in the title. Maybe they'll show some decency and update the movesets for characters that got DLC Borto costumes, but not even holding my fingers crossed. At max, new ultimates, like uh, we've seen the new ultimate with the Uchiha family. And even then, somehow I'm more excited for the new stage than I am for the new characters, because I don't know what kind of a new characters can even be there. Overall, I have very minimal level of hype. I think at very best there'll be a lot of border characters, and that'll force me to finally continue watching the show. Or nah.